Welcome to this, the 127th Upper Class Twit of the Year Show. Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. Uh, not surprisingly, Governor Blagojevich of Illinois held a press conference in which he proclaimed adamantly his innocence not guilty of any wrongdoing whatsoever, and wants his day in court to prove to everybody that he did nothing wrong. Uh, flying in the face of all of the uh, tape-recorded phone conversations and various other evidence that the, that the feds have against him, um, in which he very obviously was trying to sell the uh, Senate seat that Obama occupied to the highest bidder, both for favors for himself and for his wife. So um, I'm very much in agreement with the Constitution when it comes to the idea of being innocent until proven guilty. Uh, but I think everybody, and myself included, I think everybody forms an opinion and a judgment about how things are. So, I'd have to be excused from the fucking jury if you asked me to sit in it when and if he ever faces his fucking day in court. Because, as far as I'm concerned, this fucker is guilty as fucking sin. Why are they pointing at Blagojevich right now? Probably because they want to take him down for some other reason. I don't know what that is. But it certainly isn't for what's going on there right now. Because that kind of shit happens every fucking day in every fucking state. All the way up to the fucking White House. Everything in this country is pay for play. That's what lobbyists fucking do. And uh, now we also have a new surge in Afghanistan. Apparently, the United States military just loves this whole idea of a surge. A big surge. We're going to have another surge. A surge of troops into Afghanistan. Probably up to 30,000 new troops moving into Afghanistan, um, trying to retake the high ground that's been lost there. Well, how many times have I talked about fucking Afghanistan? Well, apparently, I'll be talking about Afghanistan until I am fucking dead. We've been there for seven fucking years. Longer than World War II. Longer than World War II. We've spent more money in Afghanistan and Iraq than we have on a great many other giant programs throughout the history of this country. And what has it gotten us? We're at the point now where some UK commanders, some NATO commanders say that the war can't be won. So why are we even fucking fighting it? Risking losing more of our own people to die for what? Al-Qaeda? The Taliban? Figments of the fucking imagination. Intelligence operations gone amok. That's all it is. Osama bin Laden? If he's even still alive? A product of the fucking CIA. But we love the surge. So here comes the big fat surge. Part of Obama's strategy. This is a prequel of things to come whenever he finally becomes president. More troops in Afghanistan, more war abroad, and expanding of the war on terror, which is probably the biggest godsend that was ever given to the fucking military industrial machine in this fucking country. Endless, in need of endless money. Yes, that's what we have more of. I was heartened, of course, uh, but also saddened by uh, the protests that are going on in Greece. Uh, saddened because they were sparked by the death of a young, uh, a young boy by the hands of the police. Uh, but I was heartened because these people rose up in protest and they are continuing to protest now. 
they have shown that they have a spark within them. A spark that cannot be denied. Whenever they are faced with adversity, they rise up in strength to do something about it. Thank God. Thank God. It proves to me that the people in this world still can do something. They're not filled with apathy and totally fucking useless like they are 99.9 .9 percent of the time. They can do something. They can stand up. It's a fucking shame that it has to take the death of someone to do it. But at least they have some drive and fire in their heart. And apparently some support in Germany as well. Because Hamburg has seen at least one large demonstration involving injuries to the police in support of the Grecian protests. So at least we know that it can still happen if people will finally get their heads out of their ass and wake up. The Israeli blockade of Gaza worsens and makes the uh, lives of Palestinians there just horrendous. What are you proving, Israel? Yeah, Palestinians digging through the garbage to find something to eat. What are you proving that you're a big tough guy? That you're a big tough guy in the neighborhood. All you're doing is picking on poor defenseless, defenseless people. And why? Because you want their fucking land. You're no fucking better than Stalin and his purge of tens of millions of people in the USSR. You're no fucking better than Hitler and the Holocaust. You're no fucking better than any other country. Pol Pot. None of them. You're no fucking better than any of them. All you're proving is you're just as ruthless and have just as much as a, of a, um, I don't give a shit about any people but me, myself, and fucking I, as every other dictatorship and horrid fucking regime in this country has ever proved throughout history. So congratulations, you fucking made it. It's too bad the Zionist imperative in this country and in so many other countries around the world are going to continue to support you as a nation. Because you certainly have proven that you have no right of any support by anybody by the actions you've taken against thousands and thousands of innocent people. Obama makes more liberals and the left, particularly Hollywood, very, very angry with his choice of Rick Warren to be involved in the inauguration. Well, I can't stress this enough because it just makes me so happy to say it. But let me say first that it wouldn't make one fucking bit of difference if it was Obama, the left-leaning liberal, or Joe Schmo, the far-right fucking conservative. As soon as they get into office, they're going to fucking betray the same fucking people who put them into fucking office in the first fucking place. What surprises me, it shouldn't anymore, but what surprises me is that there is even one fucking leftist, one fucking liberal in this entire fucking country who is still so stupid that they believe the same shit over and over again. And if it was on the other side of the fucking coin, I'd be asking the same question about the conservatives and the so-called right wing. Don't you people get it? There's no right, there's no left, there's no Democrat, there's no Republican. There's no conservatives, there's no fucking liberal. The only thing you have is corporate fascist fucking America. And the president is in thrall to them. That's the only people he has to answer to. Not you, not me, not to any fucking group. Them. That's it. Period. The banksters, the corporations, the military industrial complex, that is it. Why are you people so fucking stupid? Thank you.